Okay, thanks very much Kate and, and uh, good afternoon everyone. It's lovely to be with you and I've, I understand I have about 10 minutes to take you through a bit of a tour of um, uh, consent issues that we have uh, been uh, have had to organise over the last uh, 10 or so years when it comes to getting consent for um, video and audio recorded interviews that we conduct as, as part of our research. Um, but first of all I'd, I'd just like to um, take you through um, some a couple of websites uh, but before I do that I'll, I'll just tell you briefly about this sort of work that I do and then I want to give you a quick tour of a couple of websites that, so you can have a look at the uh, the sorts of video and audio recordings that we provide to the public um, and then I want to take you through um, our consent and copyright forms which I hope will sort of give you a, a little more background about the sorts of um, uh, the types of consent that we we get from our our participants um, so so the, the sort of work part, some of the work that I've been doing over the last 10 or 15 years is um, uh, uh, gathering uh, research um, through qualitative in-depth interviews with participants around their personal experiences of long-term conditions. And this is part of a worldwide uh, um, consortium right. of researchers. So I'm just, I'm just, uh, just to recap, I'm, I'm talking about the other uh, sort of research work that we've done over the last 10 or 15 years where we interview um, people um, about their personal experiences of long-term conditions and uh, these are rigorous, systematic, um, qualitative uh, research studies which as and they're the same as any any uh, qualitative research study that you would do. The difference is that we use these data uh, and analyse the data that we gather to then make publicly available um, uh, topic summaries, which would be, if you're a qualitative researcher, would be based along the lines of themes, thematic analysis, and these topic summaries are illustrated with video clips from the video recorded interviews. Um, if people don't consent to video clips, uh, uh, we uh, they do consent to audio or even just written transcripts. Um, so I wanted to sh to give you a very quick um, tour through a couple of our of websites. So the first one that I'd like to show is the Health Talk Australia site. What I'd like to show you is, yes, this is the Health Talk Australia site. So on this site you can see that it has a number of um, modules. I'm not sure that I can, I've actually got control over that. I'm just scrolling down to show people. Um, we've done different, um, a number of different research projects. If you click on the ageing uh, just back up a bit, uh, there's the ageing module on the right hand side. If we click on that, you will see um, down the left hand side of that screen there are a number of, uh, under overview, there are a number of uh, different topic summaries and we, um, if you click on one of those, um, <coughs> th then so if we click on uh, say the business of, of living, and in there there's a whole lot of uh, different, so you could click on say interests and activities and that should bring up, scrolling down a little, there is, um, there's a series of uh, video clips that you can click on that will, that are drawn from the, the research that's been conducted into these uh, different conditions. If we just scroll back up, so the, you'll see these two um, clips that you could click on um, have been anonymised. Um, these people uh, didn't want their, the video to be shown but they're happy for the audio to be played. Um, so we still make the, their, these people's stories available but we do it at the level at, in which they are comfortable. If I could now show you the uh, healthtalk.org, the UK website, I just wanted to show you that because that was they have done over 100 modules and it has a similar setup whereby you can find a particular condition, it might be anything from arthritis to um, to cancers, all sorts of different conditions and you can again on the left hand panel uh, find um, uh, a, a topic summary relating to that particular condition which is based on the thematic research that we've done. Then you can, you can um, click through there and you can find uh, video and audio recorded um, clips. So um, in the interest of time I'd love to be able to 
to sh take you for more of a tour, but I know that we're up against time here. So what I'd like to do now is go back to showing you the uh, consent and copyright forms. The consent form, and, and you should be able to open this um, and have a look at this yourself because I've made these available. Please note they're copyrighted. Um, the consent form is a standard consent form as you would have for any ethics, um, ethics approved study and it it outlines the usual ethics um, related issues around giving consent uh, that, that uh, participants can also tick a box to indicate if they give consent for video or, or audio recorded sections of, of the of the interview so the consent form um, just as you will see it's very standard um, that people consent to understanding the purpose of the study, they've read the participant information statement, they've had any questions answered, they can withdraw from the study at any time, that uh, their personal information is collected over the course of the project, is stored securely, that they are happy to be, they can tick a box to show they're happy to be identified or they don't want to be identified and that they want their identity to be anonymous but they wish to have the transcript of their interview identified under a pseudonym which they can then write in and that they consent to audio, video um, and or reviewing transcripts. So that's just the standard consent form. With the copyright form, um, this is the, the more um, important one, I guess, or the more relevant one for our, our listeners today. So this is a copyright transfer form and I'll just take you very quickly through this. So it's about future use of my interview and I intend that my interview will be available to the Health Talk Australia website, that the study investigators have um, approved it for use in teaching, broadcasting, research, the making of audiovisual resources and other publications. Um, it, uh, with this particular form it's also available um, for on the uh, Centre of Research and Excellence in Severe Asthma website and that it will be, um, the material may be shared with academics, broadcasters, developers of training courses, website developers. You can see that it's quite comprehensive. On the, um, the, they can also um, remove their uh, or retract their copyright. Um, they, can, they can, if I decide that I no longer want my interview to be used, it will be removed. And, but um, I'd like to stress that this very, very rarely happens. Um, in the thousands of interviews that have been done using this method around the world, there would only be a handful of people who um, change their minds later on and we will wherever possible. We can definitely remove it from the website but if, if um, transcript data has been used in publications of course we can't remove that. The final thing I would like to say is that people um, do give consent for video and audio recordings. Um, they willingly do that and they usually say it's because they hope that it might help other people who are in a similar situation to their own. Um, and once we show people how the websites work, for those of them who are a little unsure, they will, um, most of the time, they will con then consent to having their, their um, interview video recorded. Um, a small percentage don't consent, but then they do consent to the audio and the transcription.